hi to Chaco. We have this beautiful game here. This Ancient of War is going up here for Lucifer. He's building some wisps. That's nice. Is this a best of five? Yes. This is a best of five and I have it hidden somewhere on the overlay. Over here is hidden. It's very small. If you're, if you're watching this on the phone, you cannot see it. But over here we see in the yellow BO5. And that stands for best of five. Like in the yellow, like between the score, between the zero, zero. It is quite, quite an overlay, if I can say so myself. No caps allowed, no fun allowed, feels bad, man. Hey, you can spam as many caps in my channel if you just subscribe. Subscribers are immune to Nightbot, guys. You can spam caps all day long. Just saying, you know, that's a nice uh, incentive to subscribe to this channel. We have Lucifer, he has some wisps. Uh, we have uh, Foggy with some footman. This footman, this wisp. This footman. Is this a best of three or what? <laughs> best of five, okay. How many times do I have to tell you guys this? What what hero are we going for? Hello? Is it not hero time yet? I guess it's not. Oh, it's hero time. Uh, Naga. Naga for Foggy. Uh, not for Lucifer. Lucifer gets the Alchemist. Okay, let me give. Uh, let me fix it real fast. We have a Naga for Foggy, and Lucifer with the Alchemist. There it is. This is Alchemist for Foggy. It's always Alchemist versus Naga. Hello. It seems like Night Elf always gets this Alchemist, and the other races. I mean, Orc and Human. They like that Naga. It's Naga, guys. I mean, it's actually a uh, normal strategy, right? Naga first against against Night Elf. Don't know how to play against Alchemist first with Naga first, but but against the Demon Dra is very good. Just shoot the Demon Dra in the uh, in the face with that frost arrow, and the Demon Dra is like he doesn't he doesn't accept the cold. It's just too cold for him. He just can't accept it, and then he dies and stuff, and then he, he slow. I always see defend already. That's a very early defense. He's taken to the town hall. Is he going for... What's he going for exactly with the Naga first? He doesn't go for an early expansion. He doesn't go for, uh, you know, Tower Rush. He's just playing a Naga. And this Naga is just shooting Niffy. It is Niffy, guys. Welcome, Niffy. Welcome back, Niffy. Niffy the Alchemist. A town is under siege. Oh, this Wisp is under siege. Oh, he dodges the attack. And detonates right there in the face of the Naga. A player's forces are under and these footmen are under attack. They do have defend, but Ace and Bomb gets, goes right through that defend. Shield doesn't work. Oh, nice kill, Mr. Footman. I mean, I shouldn't really praise him for that because he just killed his best friend. Like, without any remorse, without any thought, he just used his sword and slit his throat. Uh, this Ace and Bomb only hit that footman. Oh, the sheep over there. Uh, it's just best of seven. <laughs> yeah. Choco check, Lucifer's foggy. Netties. What? He didn't know the night. Well, he tried to. Oh, yeah, we see we have 40 XP on the Alchemist. But he tried to. That's what uh, what matters. Wait, was it a food bag? 40 XP. I thought he got, you know. I don't remember. We have Niffy, we have the Lady Dark Skill. Lady Dark Skill shooting this archer. This archer. This archer? These archers are gonna be just fine, guys. We have Niffy. Niffy can defend the archers. It's gonna be just fine. Oh, there's an. Oh, even the ship got acid bomb. The ship blocking the Naga. Lucifer is so good at this sheep blockage. It's so insane. Too bad the sheep died to the acid bomb, thanks to his own uh, his own fault. But the sheep was perfect position. Lucifer always have to, has the sheep in the perfect position. I don't understand how he does it, but it uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good with the sheep blocking his enemy's heroes. Naga retreating. Footman here with the fan creeping the creep camp. Naga shoots a. Oh, why? I mean, why kill the sheep if they're gonna help you, Lucifer? Why? They're your allies. Hello. They eat your grass, sure. But it's not like you're gonna eat it yourself. Niffy is almost level 2. The Naga is level 2. Lady Dark Skill. 
Did someone say 24? Ch Choco 24 hour stream confirmed. No. This Huntress. Oh, we have Tinker Second. Yeah, nice. Tinker Second. The Huntress is gonna be just fine. Just fine, guys. Wait, is he going for Mass Tier 1 again? Oh, both these Huntresses take a lot of damage. And the militia trying to kill the archers. This hunter is going to be fine with this, this situation over here. Wait, let's see what he's doing here. He's going ace on the floor. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. Uh, there was another uh, acid bomb. One archer did go down. This archer also dies. And this footman dies. The level 2 Niffy now. Niffy at level 2. He's solo hero at t tier 2. So he gets 15% bonus XP. So that's nice. Box Factory plays here. What's happening over here? Peasants going home, but Huntress is trying to kill the pre uh, peasants. There's long rifles. There are more priests being built. This ancient war taking so much damage. This is insane, guys. This ancient war defending himself, just slapping the Tinker in the face. The Tinker is slapping the ancient of war at his on his feet, I guess. He's attacking his feet, his roots. That's where it hurts the most. By the uh, that's where the ancient of war is his weakest, at his roots. And this pocket factory is doing nothing much at that point at this point. Ancient protector went up. Second Oh someone was asking for this guy, the pit lord. I saw it. I let me open my chat. I mean my chat is open, but let me scroll up. Um I want to see Pit Lord, Blood Mage, and Arc Mage for Ultimate Song of Fire and Ice. Oh. Well, we have the Pit Lord. The other two heroes you mentioned are banned from this cup, so. But we have a Pit Lord. So that's nice. That is so nice, guys. Destro Math is level one. Niffy level two. And here we have Lady Dark Skill level two. And Ricket Contraption level one. A player's forces are under attack. Box factory placed over here. And we have some, some of these little clockwork goblins. It's nice. We see uh, Lucifer is gonna keep this creep camp. He has some dryads. Is he going for Tree of Eternity? Yes, he is. He's going for bears, guys. He's an ogre. Let's see what item he gets. He gets a healing scroll and a scroll of the beast. Pretty good here. Really good there, actually, for uh, Foggy. He might just win. Oh, is he going for an expansion? Okay, well, I mean, if he wanted to do the timing attack just before the master bears show up, those items would have been good, but he doesn't. So, some one of the wind. Pretty nice. I just joined. Can you explain what heroes are banned? Uh, it's tavern hero only. So, yeah, all the altar heroes are banned. We see this beautiful fight here. Tinker and the Naga killing the creep camp is going for an expansion for sure. And he can defend it with the scroll of the beast. Naga level three. Over here we see Niffy creeping and healing at the same time. Yo. Hi, oh, hello, Dago85 and ba Badori. Oh, one archer goes down. This other archer survives. Wow, can't believe she survived. I can't believe it. Maybe some of you believe it. There's some more healing. Level one still. There's a roar by the bear who still adapts. He's gonna get master. He should be able to defend this attack easy peasy because Foggy just invested a lot of money into this expansion. It's not like Foggy's army is super scary or super powerful. And there's a rain of fire. Look at it. It's so... It's so what? I don't know. I, I couldn't think of a word to describe that uh, rain of fire. Not sure. Like, maybe you guys know. Panda's useless against heal spray. Oh, well, Foji made it. Well, the Hunter's Hall goes down, guys. It's down. He's building more bears. Oh, he's building more drives. I mean, abolish magic. What did you have for lunch today? Soup. Underwhelming. <laughs> it was so underwhelming. It's beautiful. Well, we'll have some more rain of fire. Some more underwhelming rain of fire. But this expansion is up at mining. But look at this. Lucifer. Scouts over here first. Oh, Hunter's Chan. Oh, Hunter's Chan, what are you doing? This is not a scout anymore. 
This just uh, killing yourself at this point. <laughs> oh. The other hunter tells the hunters, don't kill yourself. It's worth this live worth life. Live life is worth living, girl. And uh, together they live. And here we have an engagement. Some more rain of fires. Some more underwhelming rain of fires. Uh, we have healing scrolls. Two healing scrolls still available. He doesn't even need it against level one rain of fire. Meanwhile, over here, these hunters. Uh, one hunters. Oh, she still wants to die, I guess. Uh, 51 hit points. Ah, and she dies. She gets her wish, guys. She gets her wish. She dies. She goes to Hunter's Heaven. And, I mean, she won't return to this game. This other Huntress, though. She could die. Some more harassment. Oh, the Riverman defending now. Some Tinkers. I mean, these heroes are still level 2. Useless. Can you get level 3, please? Like the Naga. She's level 3. The Tinker, almost level 3. That's so nice. It's random race. Yes. Random race, guys. Tavern heroes. Those are the rules. Hunter's hiding. Look how sneaky she is. She's probably mourning about her. She's looking at where her friend dies. She's like, oh no. But we have this engagement here. Or creep check here, I should say. Rockolum does. He die. He dies. Niffy is level 3, finally. Rope of the Magi is pretty good. It means he has more healing. And he's using that healing. But the bear gets stopped out. That was, uh. Nice. Okay. Did you guys ever notice that these uh, Huntresses have green lipstick? These, these hunters, the riders, these girls that ride the panthers, that's so sexy, green lipstick. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, that's what I pay attention to. Pop factory here with the cl little clockwork goblins. Uh, hello, what are you guys doing? Maybe you guys should kill this forceful high priest, but no, Lucifer shows up, he gets a kill. There's a bear. He's, oh, the bear is, is just escorting the hunters to the river. Or maybe somewhere else? Okay, yeah. Let's go home. Okay. Muddy though. Muddy. This bear is gonna be just fine, guys. It's 75 against 57 supply. What is this? Is that the tree of life? I mean, this hasn't been crept yet, but he could build a tree of life anyway. This is a bad position for Lucifer. Uh, but, you know, Nif Nifty Gorgon Biggie shoots a nifty acid bomb there on the Naga. And this bear is in the front. This this foot band. Oh, this bear it gets stopped out. Naga is flying. Hello. That's uh, one of the wind for you. There's some more uh, healing spray. I assume it's level 2 healing spray. One bear goes down. There's some more rain of fire, guys. The Tinker as well. Oh, look at all these buffs and debuffs. Oh, never mind. And now only three. The Tinker, though. Can he save the Tinker? Oh, wait a second. The healing scroll. The healing scroll is still on the Naga. He's gonna wait for the next rain of fire, I guess. It's 85 mana. He doesn't have mana for it right now. Uh, there's still two bears and this Niffy just keeping everyone alive. I don't know who's gonna win this fight, but I know it's gonna... Well, it's probably not gonna be Lucifer. Uh, that's what I know. The bear gets stopped out. He's down to one bear. And, I mean, Lucifer retreats. This footman, this foot, one footman with the fend can take so many dry hits. Oh, he has another one, by the way. Two footmen with the fend. Rain of fire is doing zero damage. Well, if your opponent has mass healing scrolls and some priest healing, yeah, I mean, especially if it's only level one or any fire, it's not that strong, guys. You need level two, you need level three, you need level, you know, well, level two rain of fire it already does significant more damage than level one. He tries here, uh, you know, killing this ogre magi. And look, we get some more bears. 52 supply gets 78. What a game, guys. There is a Tinker. He buys some more healing scrolls. And, I mean, it looks so bad for Lucifer. It's looking actually... It's looking actually so terrible that I don't think he's going to win, guys. I think Lucifer is dead. He's 22 supply behind. His heroes are kind of useless. I mean, Niffy is good, but... Oh, he has level 2. We're in a fire now. Okay, let's see if that makes a difference. How many healing scrolls? We have two healing scrolls. Show me the rain of fire. Show it. On the ace and bond, the uh, rifleman, of course, doesn't add anything. Just because they have less armor doesn't mean they take more damage. Because the rain of fire doesn't, you know, take armor into account. This bear is going to die, then the other one is going to die, and then Lucifer is going to die. Oh, more rain of fire, though. Uh, we still have those healing scrolls, or both of them, even. He uses one. He doesn't even care about the rain of fire. He just the tech moves, uses the healing scroll, he uses the spellbreaker. And his footman with the fence still doing just fine here. Niffy, though, you know, Niffy has a clause of attack. Maybe you should give it to the Destro Math. So he can use the Cleave. But he doesn't use Cleave, he's just using Rain of Fire. 
on these dunes in the back. You could even move them forward. And oh, Niffy, get stuffed out. There's a healing scroll. Healing scroll used here. No more healing scrolls available, but does he need more? Probably not. 30 supply up. There's no tree of life here. It's two bases against one base. He's going to tier three at some point. No, tier two all is all he has. Could buy a zeppelin even uh, if he wants to. This bear here is dead. Both bears are dead. The rain of fire hits nothing. Look at this. Everyone just moves out of the way of this rain of fire over there. Poker Factory goes dead down. GG. Lucifer loses the first game. Who would have expected that? Well, um, foggy maybe. Lucifer is getting an altar. He's getting a ziggurat and a tomb of Alex. Did he scout it yet? No, not yet. But this ghoul is going to scout his close position. And he's going to see, guys. We have a footman here. A ghoul and a footman. The ghoul, what does he see? He sees the barracks, he sees the farm. Nice. Nice seeing by the ghoul. The footman. What does he see? He sees the crypt. He sees this base. Beautiful, beautiful scouting. Oh, d gives me some bits. I'm, I can't count those manually, so let me see. 30 bits here. Thanks, d FPS, for the, your beautiful support. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Can't believe it. it it's, it's just insanely beautiful. Is random tavern heroes or what? No, no, you can get the, you can choose your tavern hero. You can choose it, but it's a random race. So we have an alchemist against the fire lord. Foggy going with the fire lord. We haven't seen that many fire lords today. And this fire lord is go for towers. This is actually a very standard strategy against them that you just go fire lord and towers. Uh, normally you see an arc mage first and then the fire lord second and towers. But you know that's besides the point. Alchemist fixes warp potion. I mean warp ocean. Fixes warp ocean and blaze fury for the fire lord. By the way, blaze fury, the fire lord, just attacking the script and building a tower here. Nice tower going up, and here comes the uh, fixers, guys. Here he is, fixers John, with some ghouls. Can he defend this base? I mean, the, the towers, so many towers, guys. So many towers. Here is the fight. The ghouls. Going for the peasants. This ghoul takes a lot of damage, even though uh, fixes warp ocean is using his healing wave. Uh, did the footman die? Where did it go? Oh, there he is. I mean, the ghoul. Uh, this peasant here takes a lot of damage. The ghoul still alive. And oh, there was the other one. Two ghouls, very low hit points. One footman just going for pe uh, for the ghouls, I guess. He wants to kill the ghoul and then he can kill some acolytes. Uh, fixes warp ocean is. I mean, is he going for the tower? Oh, he's healing his ghouls, guys. He's healing them. And uh, this lava spawn, very low on hit points. Can he get a kill? He gets a kill. Meanwhile, what is his footman doing? He killed the ghoul, he's killing the acolyte. Nice job by the footman. This tower takes a lot of damage. And it does go down. We have another tower, but this one will go up. And what is Lucifer gonna do? Is he gonna go switch to fiends? Is he going to go to tier 2? I don't know, he's just right clicking the tower. What a play here. What a play by Fixer's Warp Ocean. So much damage done to the guard tower and it will go down. And uh, yeah, he retreats with the ghouls. I mean, his acolyte. Oh, he finally realized his uh, footman was killing all his acolytes. It feels like four more acolytes is maybe a bit overkill. Uh, maybe a bit too many acolytes. But you know what? It is Lucifer. Lucifer doesn't make mistakes. This uh, footman goes to uh, over there. Oh, he's level two now. If he takes rage, chemical rage, he can kill this fire lord for sure. Does he take it though? Does he pick it? He doesn't pick it. He didn't pick it, guys. His footman goes down. Maybe Acid Bomb, uh, he didn't have mana for Acid Bomb. At the, and there, oh, he might just kill him with the Acid Bomb. 22, 23, oh, he does TP out here. You see this TP, so that's why he didn't take damage. Uh, 68, 63, 58. Okay, he will survive now, just fine. Uh, these towers over here, I mean, yeah, pretty nice position on these towers. But that does mean that the ghouls and the skeletons can fight on the Blight. With increased health regeneration, of course, it's super duper nice. And without Fire Lord here, oh, Fire Lord super low. Hello, is another AC bomb? No, no mana. Towers are going down one by one. By one. Oh, Fire Lord just hits him in the face with a fist. It's like a lava Fire Lord in his face with a fist. He should take burn damage, really. I mean, maybe ogres they're just they're, their skin is so thick that they don't take damage. They're like uh, hippos. With, yeah, it's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Over here, ghouls are creeping. He wants a level 3 fixtures. 
Uh, if he gets a mana, he could kill the Fire Lord, but the Fire Lord escapes and he doesn't get level 3. Uh, actually, after the tower, he will be level 3. No, he's, he cancels the tower. No XP here for Fixtures. The tower doesn't give XP if it's just Scout Tower. Graveyard is going up. That's nice. I mean, ghouls are going up. And, I mean, nice defense by Lucifer. Really, really nice. Meanwhile, over here, we see the Fire Lord just healing. He got the staff, he bought the staff at the shop over here, he staffed home and regeneration scroll. So nice guys. What a game. Okay, well, let's see. Fixes warp ocean. He just needs those 17 XPs, guys. Then those few Oh, what does he find here? A uh, turtle. He goes for the big one. Lava spawns just expire. What a timing to expire. We really wanted those lava spawns to run for like 5 more seconds. Could have maybe killed a ghoul. This ghoul going home. Look, level 3. I wonder if he picks level 2 acid bomb. So many footmen here. So many ghoul militia guys. Acid bomb is so effective against them. But on the other hand, healing spray is really good as well. On the ghouls and on the other guys. Especially if you want to creep these turtles. You need the level 2 healing spray. Fire Lord is he buying something? No, he's not tier 2 yet. First is looking, just went the shopping at the tavern. Okay, I mean Lucifer doesn't want to engage, apparently. Six foot man. Seven ghouls here. Nice attack on the Love Spawn guy. Love Spawn is gonna expire. Look at him. On the footman. There's a fiend. One fiend. Why is alchemist considered good for undead? It is because like the the acid bomb on top of the orb is just so much armor reduction that you can just focus fire something and kill it. But he did go early ghouls instead of uh, fiends. But I bet like late game, yeah, you see it already by the way, you saw the fiend already. Late game he switches to fiends, he gets like a fire lord or some other hero. And gives that oh, hero the orb of corruption and then like he just focus fire one unit and just dies because it has minus eight or nine armor that's the main reason that's one of the reasons also on that they lack healing so normally you get a death knight for the healing guess what guess what alchemist can also heal your units and he can heal himself which the death knight can't I mean, the Death Knight has the Unholy Aura to heal himself, but still. Okay, we have this beautiful uh, beautiful interaction again between these players. Fire Lord is over here. We have like seven ghouls and one fiend. This ghoul takes a bit of damage. Oh no, this one takes damage now. It's cool. Okay, is level one or level two? One, two, three, four. There's a panda. I think I saw four waves, right? So he has level two healing. We can also see how much they heal on each wave, but I have to do too much math there. I'd rather just do the counting. Uh, and we got uh, Alchemist here as well. Uh, Alchemist for Foggy. This guy almost got surrounded, but not quite. Oh, can he get the surround now? Nope. Kills a shop. That's nice. But we'll get over here. No Black Seed at all. He's building more statues. More fiends, guys. He's just putting up so much pressure. There's uh, with a Breath of Fire and, of course, the Acid Bomb. But look at what we have here. We have... Savvy, Savvy guys, and he's just healing his footman and militia guys. And look at this, all this healing, so much healing for both players. Breath of Fire, there's some more healing here by uh, Savvy. This ghoul is Michael back because he doesn't want to die, but he's going to heal now in the healing uh, wave. Nothing will die forever, this game will last forever, guys. They're just healing more than they, they're doing damage. Uh, but now the alchemists are out of mana mostly, and GG by Foggy, which means that Lucifer wins the game. And that means it's a nice one one lucifer didn't get the orc what do you have to say for yourself now are you a skamas we have a footman here this footman walks past the footman that's nice i just want to live somewhere where i don't need to own a car i hate cars guys I've been traumatized by cars when I was a child. 
and I just don't like cars. So I need to live in a big city. I mean, pe uh, people mention Amsterdam, but I mean, Amsterdam, it's a small city, first of all. And even if it was doable, it's just so expensive. Hello. I might as well leave the country, go to a cheaper country, uh, cheaper city. Anyway, we have a Fire Lord here for Foggy now. Uh, and Lucifer, what is he getting? Lucifer is getting an uh, Alchemist. Okay. Alchemist against a Fire Lord. What a game, guys. And this is a human mirror, so I guess Foggy really likes the Fire Lord. Well, Lucifer really likes the Fixer's Warp Ocean again. What a game. Come to Cologne. Well, no wonder you don't want to live in America. <laughs> exactly. Are under Here's your problem, Chaco. Big cities are expensive. Yeah, on average, they are more expensive. Uh, but, you know, there are cheaper cities than Amsterdam. These footmen, they are right-clicking. Owning a car is even more expensive, though. You know how much it costs to own a car in the Netherlands? Oh, and the uh, Archmage, the Fire Lord, picked up the Gloves of Haste. And look at this. He's healing. Fixes Warp Ocean is healing the footmen. Footman is uh, treating. We have a bunch of footmen just own, killing this peasant. And uh, this footman is also dead. So, what a game, guys. This alchemist, uh, this uh, rage pyre, 140 XP. This alchemist has 113 XP. And okay, this footman is going for this peasant. This peasant has, uh, you know, he has some gold. Footman, I mean, he does retreat. What a game. There's another footman. So we see this expansion going up here for Foggy, of course. And what do we see here for Lucifer? He's tacking to tier 2. Is he going for a counter expansion? I see militia guys. I see them. But it doesn't mean he's going for a counter expansion. He might just creep this, get some berserkers and kill this expansion. Easy peasy. Maybe we'll see defend. Maybe we won't. These two footmen, they scout everything they know. They know what's up. Of course they're not going to kill anything because of the healing wave. Healing spray, I mean. Uh, Militia, you're killing the Renegade Wizard. These two footmen, they just want this footman so badly. But there's a Berserker for Lucifer. There's some more healing spray. Is this tournament random race cup? Yeah, random race, tavern hero only. All these guys are dying, and the Alchemist level 2, he has a healing regeneration ring. Okay. Okay, guys. Move to Brockling. Brook, Brook, Lynn. Okay. Consider it. <laughs> Brooklyn is expensive. Brooklyn expensive as shit. Might as well live in Amsterdam at that point. Well, his alchemists are almost level three. The the problem is I just I like the other reason still stands though, right? Like the Netherlands are still it's kind of like boring to me. This guy is retreating, going north. This berserker is going west. And the Fire Lord, he wants this guy. He wants his first Shadow Priest. He moves so fast. Fire Lord loses his mana. And if the first Shadow Priest does go down, we have Footman that's ensnared over there. Zerker here with some Footman. Is he going for this expansion? No. The Fire Lord is there. He starts home to the expansion. Oh, I, I heard that uh, owning a car in America is cheap, though. In the Netherlands, you have to pay like 250 euro in insurance and tax, and that's excluding gas. And gas is much more expensive here as well. Hey, we have Naga! Naga for Lucifer! Naga for Lucifer. Good. And this militia very low. The alchemist just wants to kill him. And we have this fight here, this, this fight for this expansion. There's an acid bomb by the alchemist. What are the supplies? 39 against 42. But did you just kill uh, lava spawn? The alchemist is level 3 now. Level 2 healing wave. This naga won't even, you know, won't even feel this footman attacking her. Because she's healing for so much. Hello. But now the alchemist is out of mana. Maybe you should give the ring of regeneration to the naga. Because the alchemist is full hit points and Naga is kind of low hit points. Bling -a -ling -a -ling. Thanks for 100 bits, uh, powerful birdman. How low is what you have to say? So let me say how low back. Your support is beautiful and will be beautified for eternity. This peasant is building this arcane vault. Arcane vault is going up. This Naga 
Can he get the snipe on the Naga? Of course he can. Hello. Hello. Keep it there. Start attacking. There's one attack. There's another attack. 10 hit points. And she's dead. And meanwhile, footman over here. The footman going for his expansion. Do we see any tier 2 buildings? No arcane sanctums yet, guys. No arcane sanctums. Peasants going back home. His footman fighting against these footmen. Do we have an acid bomb? No, he's just healing his footmen instead. I think the acid bomb there would have been maybe better. Like those five footmen were just so clustered up. Clustered up. Well, these footmen, he had himself that he was healing. They had a lot of hit points. Oh, Alchemist is surrounded? What? Don't get surrounded. He kills the footman. He's, he's free now. His shop is still up over there. And look at this. Ogre Mauler and a Mud Golem. Bought by Foggy. By Foggy, yes. Not by uh, Lucifer, by Foggy. And there's the acid bomb on the footman, and now they're dying so fast. Look at this footman just killing this footman. This footman with minus one armor is dead. This footman also going down very fast. This footman over here, they're, you know, they're killing peasants slowly. Like this one is almost dead. Like this one is still almost dead. This one's almost dead. This footman's almost dead. Alchemist, what is he up to? Alchemist is slowed by the mud golem and the ogre mauler just right clicking him. There's the ogre on the ogre fight, guys. But this ogre only has one head. This ogre has two heads. This is like one of the few that only has one head. Most ogres in this game have two heads. But the ogre uh, of the alchemist, hello. One head only. He heal, heals himself. Okay. That's nice. And he takes some more damage. The ogre mauler takes some damage this time. Look at the revenge of the ogre uh, alchemist. Can you explain minus armor? There's not much to explain. I mean, if you have minus one armor, instead of taking reduced damage, you take extra damage. 6% extra damage per armor. So, was that a beautiful explanation? Yeah, Chaco, that was beautiful. Okay, the Naga and the Alchemist, they're going for the Forest of Shadow Priest. It's for, uh, really. Lucifer should have bought his forest or shadow priest. He could be dispelling these lava spawns. It's interesting that uh, we see them for Foggy, not for Lucifer. He's healing, Al Alchemist healing, and the Berserker's healing. His footman here killing peasants slowly. His Naga is just shooting at the Rage Pyre, but he has a healing potion. Use it, and there's a Soul Burn. And that spell got buffed by so much dispatch. Look at this. Level 1 Soul Burn. Minus 24 damage on the Alchemist. And of course, uh, he wasn't able to cast spells, but there was an uh, Acid Bomb. On this guy, there's a level 1 acid bomb. Rage Pyre, he has another healing potion, he should be fine. This Berserker, is he fine? 17 hit points, no he's not fine, he's dead guys. He lived a nice life, but not nice enough really. I think uh, I wouldn't want to trade with him. Especially now that he's dead. Okay, there's a healing potion used by both these heroes. His footmen are almost dead. <laughs> his first footman, just standing there, just fighting. Level 4, level 4 guys, level 4 fixes, warp ocean. Guys, uh, doing just fine, he buys another healing potion, use it. And we have some more trolls, and it looks like Lucifer is just slowly losing, guys. I'm not sure if he can still win this game. I don't know how he would win this game. Okay, there's this, GG. Foggy wins game 3. Foggy's up 2 to 1. If Foggy wins the next map, he wins all the monies. So Lucifer is not going for archers, actually, he's going for huntresses. Which is super duper interesting. Another move ball. There's a grunt. What a game. Actually, that sounds pretty smart. If you go somewhere cheap, you could make a living off of streaming. And if location is good, it doesn't really matter much. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I, I probably already could make a living uh, in East Europe or South Asia or, you know, Middle or South America. Although I heard the internet is really bad in Middle South America. Uh, we have a Naga here. She shoots the Wisp. The Wisp here. He wants to buy a hero. Buys a Beastmaster. Oh, interesting hero. So Lucifer has the Beastmaster. And the Naga, by the way, is for the other player. There. So, the Beastmaster just right-clicking this Naga with the Piggy as well. The Piggy just doing a lot of damage. Beastmaster wants to go home. This first time we see the Beastmaster today. I'm hyped, guys. I'm hyped. It's like a different matchup. This Nagado shooting her cold arrows at the piggy. Uh, she wants to put the piggy in the freezer so she, he doesn't spoil and she can eat him later. And what do we have over here? We have more grunts. Third grunt here. One Naga, two grunts so far. 
And there's a Huntress. And there's an Ultra Vision. Why does Arkbrain need boots if he rides a horse? It's just, it's just, it's just fashion. It's a fashion statement. Beastmaster Hunt staying true to Moon. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does make sense to do a strategy that's just, you know, used normally with this tavern hero. With this restrictions, just use a strategy that you uh, see normally in, in, in the competitive, competitive play. But normally we don't see the Beastmaster Huntresses on this map, of course. But I think he can still pull it off. Just build a uh, Ancient of War. I mean, a Tree of Life. You know, go for an expansion, etc. He's playing against the Naga first. I mean, easy peasy. Easy peasy with this Beastmaster and Huntresses. This Huntress takes a bit of damage, but she retreats. This shop, he wants his shop. He wants to cancel this shop. And he's... Look, the Naga has boots because uh, that way she slithers a bit faster. These two piggies doing so much damage. There's a third piggy. And there's a Huntress, another Huntress, there's a second Huntress, the first Huntress is over there. So, nice cancellation on the shop. This means that Foggy, I mean... Eh, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, his units are still full hit points. And if he starts creeping, like by the time he creeps the creep camp, the shop is up. So it's not that big of a deal, but... You know, it was a nice shop kill by Lucifer. That's nice. He will go same as first cash. Wyvern? Foggy will? I'm not sure if he will. Did Cash go uh, Beastmaster with Piggies? These Piggies are so good against Wyvern. If he gets a level 3 Beastmaster, the Wyvern are going to die, guys. So, I don't think he will go Wyvern. And if he does go Wyvern, it's going to be sad. Is Southeast Asia considerable, considered relatively safe? Yeah, it's probably much safer than, uh, than anywhere in America. Even just USA, really. I mean, maybe Canada is more safe. But anyway, these Huntresses doing a bit of damage. Beastmaster here going for these grunts. I mean, these Huntresses, there's another piggy. Some Huntresses over there. Here at Chile, I'm just uh, playing with 40 me um, MBS per second. Internet, not that bad. Issue is playing international games. Okay. Uh, this grunt here. This grunt is taking so much damage. The grunt is dead. And can he get more units? I mean, this Huntress is kind of low. This Huntress is kind of low. Does he have moon juice? How much moon juice does he have? Plenty of moon juice. Hello. He can just heal up his Huntresses. Five Huntresses now. I wonder if Lucifer has a scout. Scout wisp to scout exactly what we see here for Foggy. Foggy does. Wait. Oh, hello, Chaco! Hello! This Beastmaster has to TP out, but he kills all the towers. And he wakes up the creeps even. He loses one Huntress. There, this peon does get ensnared. There's an Ancient Protector defending. And of course, Ancient of Lords going up. And where, where is the tier 2 now? Hello! This tower rush. Oh, he keeps tower rushing. Okay. He keeps tower rushing. We have four Huntresses. This Huntress is Michael back. Uh, okay, this Pocket Factory guy goes... Uh, maybe he goes down. There it goes. Please smash Michael back. Look at this beautiful fight. Four Huntresses against the Pocket uh, Clockwork Goblins. And the Grunts and the Tinker and the Naga. He just... I mean... These towers will go up. Maybe the Piggy can cancel one of them. And then what? Do we see... Oh, clay throwers! Clay throwers! And probably dryads. I mean, these towers are so far away. I think he should be able to defend. There's a demolisher, but... I still think Lucifer should be able to defend this. He has piggies as well. They can try to snipe the demolishers. I don't think we'll see any piggies kill the demolishers. As long as there's still level 1 piggies. Oh, what's that? That's an alchemist for Lucifer. That's right. There goes another null. This null also is dead, guys. Shop is going up. 
And where's the demolisher? Here he is. Builds another barracks here. These towers, man. <laughs> They're so far away. Here's some uh, some more glaive throwers. He has two already. He doesn't even need to kill them, right? He can just say, okay, I'm never gonna use this path. Let me just creep. And that's what he's doing. He's just creeping. And I mean, he has an ancient protector and some glaive throwers defending his base. And look at this. Lucifer is just creeping. Buys a zeppelin even. To save his glaive throwers. Oh, this clockwork goblin does a little bit of damage against one glaive thrower. And did he get level 2? No, not level 2 yet. But he does get a nice health stone. And he has some dryads. He's gonna heal these units up a little bit. I mean, he took quite a bit of damage from this poison. Alchemist has heal, right? Yeah, there it is. Look at this piggy trying to snipe the demolisher. But the Naga again. Freezing this piggy. And look at this. One Zeppelin and three Glaive Throwers. Oh, one did take a hit from the Demolisher. There's a the second Demolisher. And let's see, let's see, let's see. What a beautiful game. Alchemist healing this units a little bit. He only has one Dryad, but I mean, I guess uh, if he doesn't build too many Dryads, they don't die too fast against the Demolishers. He's building more Demolishers. Demolishers against Glaive Throwers, guys. The town is under siege. And he's building more demolishers, even more guys. Mass demolishers. Wow. What What a beautiful play here. By Foggy. And he kills one of his own grunts. Player's forces are under attack. What a what a beautiful kill. This dumb this hunters is very low. And he's just healing his own hunters. And this move is taking so much damage. I think the place is a pocket factory. The four clay throwers now. And uh, nice attack on this clay thrower. It's Michael Pack. Wisp can repair it. This thing takes a bit of damage. It's Huntresses. I mean, they're just trying to do some damage. This grunt is still alive. And the Beastmaster gets a kill. Level 2 Beastmaster. But to really be strong in this game, he needs to be level 3 with birdies. Magic damage dealing birdies. He could kill these uh, demolishers very easily. But he still needs to level up one more level. There's a birdie, but I mean, why cast a birdie now? Oh, just to see. Okay. Just to see. Play forward. Oh, one hunter just explodes, and this hunter and this dried also explode. There was a bit of a mistake there by Lucifer, not paying attention. There goes a glaive thrower as well. Of course, Lucifer is uh, falling asleep. It's like so late. Where is that? And this uh, hunter starts to go down. The beast master has a health stone. He just tries to get the tinker, but the tinker gets away. And these glaive throwers. Oh, look at the demolishers, hello! Six demolishers! What a play here! What a play by Foggy! This, this guy takes a bit of damage. The fixes warp ocean. Why do we always get the same the same alchemist? Hello! Beastmaster attacks this uh, Naga in the face and again. And what is he going for? Just He doesn't use his Ancient of Lords at all. He built two of them. He built one right and that's it. Doesn't go bears, doesn't go mountain giants. I don't know if either would have been a good idea, I'm just saying. Maybe mountain giants would have been a good idea. Maybe not. Maybe we should have uh, built some instant of winds. Foggy just massing these demolishers. Does he build some more towers? Five towers. Another building does go down. This Naga takes a bit of damage. There's a healing potion on the Alchemist. The Hellstone is gone. The Naga does fall. And the Tinker is going to be just fine. This Demolisher almost falls. Does he have the upgrade for his Glaive Throwers? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. He built an Ace of Wars so he can uh, build some more Glaive Throwers. He lost the other one. And this Demolisher takes a bit of damage. A bit of damage, but does he go down? He does go down. Both these heroes are super low. He has another heal spray available, though. If he wants to heal his heroes up a little bit. Oh, against the Tinker, there's the heal. So much healing there by the Alchemist. But the Alchemist... Oh! What the fuck? He actually built a Mountain Giant? He stops at the Alchemist. I I mean, yeah. Al Mountain Giant doesn't do die to Demolishers. 
picks up a club, but you know, he's finding a tinker now. Against a tinker, you don't want to use a club. And now he's using a club on a demolisher. There's a taunt, and now this guy attacks the, demol uh, the, the guy. The, how do you call that guy? Mountain Giant guy. Mountain Giant is so nice here. Does he build more? No, just one Mountain Giant. Demolishers here. Which is fine. He's building more wisps. He provide is needed. Yeah, or level three Beastmaster. He's level two and a half. If he gets a level three Beastmaster, he probably will defend this no problem. But can he get a level three Beastmaster? Maybe he should have, when he was over here. Maybe he should have grabbed the entire creep camp. Naga in the back. He's building another tower. There's some healing. You're fucking giving some time here to Lucifer. Level uh, one hawk Chan. The scouting. Let's buy some items. Did he buy some items? Okay, buy two healing po bought two healing potions just before the shop went down. Naga takes a bit of damage. Naga is still alive. Go for the pocket factory. Pocket factory does give XP, and it cannot be uh, microed really. This guy, the clay throw, takes so much damage. Microed back. He does go down. The demolisher does too much damage. He's too. Are microed back? We have the zeppelin in the back. Oh, beastmaster dies, and there it is. GG. Lucifer GG's out. Who wins this game? Oh, Foggy wins this game. Oh, who wins his best of five? Yes, Foggy wins his best of five. Who wins the three thousand four hundred fifty rebels? Foggy guys. Foggy is rich. Foggy has won. Foggy has won the random race. Tavern hero only. Warcraft 3 alive. Fun cup number one. GG's.